Day eight, I think. Um, so far, I'm proud of. Ow, Jesus Christ, my eye. Ow, I got a hair in my eye, y'all. Ooh, that should be scary. Like, anytime I get a hair in my eye, it'd be petrifying to me. Because I had got my lashes done for, for my wedding. Like, the individual lashes. I had never did it before. And I seen this girl on Instagram that I felt like did a good job in Atlanta. So, I went to get them done. And, honey, that was cute or whatever for a second. But I'm more of a strip last type of girl because I just change so often. Like, I literally go from bed, bitch, H-Town to motherfucking ball, bitch, no crown. <laughs> Dead ass. And I'm so fine with that because I, like, love being all glammed up. But I love being so dressed down. And I can just... I'm sorry, y'all. I love being very dressed down and comfortable and not worried about having to get makeup on stuff and wiping off my damn eyebrows and all that stuff. So, um, I don't even remember where I was going with this. I'll come back to y'all when I remember. Anyhow, what I was saying, I think, was that I'm proud of what I've done so far for vlogmas um next week the scheduling should be better um y'all gotta leave a comment below and tell me what time would y'all like for me to premiere vlogmas daily like what's the best time for y'all that y'all got downtime to check it out um y'all let me know because i'll do that for y'all also um I got a lot of video ideas that I want to do for y'all. Like, <laughs> like, I would like to record my new makeup routine because y'all, I don't know about y'all, but oh, y'all ain't seen it yet because I ain't posted the Instagram yet. But I literally have like 12 pictures ready to post for y'all for Instagram just from my new makeup um how it's been coming out i really like it like i literally don't even clean up my brows when i do them with concealer anymore and it's really quick and easy and i live for it also i've been loving the on the label lashes um by lash obviously by let me on the label y'all the on the label lashes been on one i know that's my homegirl money's favorite style but that's been my style lately probably because i don't have no gibbos for real um, I wasn't with the new collection. I do have a new collection coming for y'all. Y'all just stay tuned. Y'all gonna love it. I was not gonna bring any of the gold collection back. However, I think that I'm gonna do a gold collection reloaded and bring back a couple of the faves and add some new styles to the gold collection. Um, y'all let me know down below what y'all think I should do. Um, but yes, I'm I'm starving because I went out last night with one of my whole girls had some drinks and you know mm, I'm so tired obviously and bobbed out or whatever outside of the walking gate but I didn't really eat like a meal after lunchtime yesterday and I didn't eat while I was out there because y'all know I just had chicken on a stick so I didn't want no chicken on a stick I should have got me some wings but I was just trying to get back to the taxi line because I knew it was going to be stupid long because everybody trying to make sure they get back before curfew. But I ended up taking the bus back to the bus terminal and walking. Um, let me see if y'all see the bus terminal from here. No, you can't see it from here. But if you look beyond those buildings, it's like, mm, it ain't a mile, like probably a quarter mile or something. Through there is where the bus terminal is but when i can't catch a cab i walk to the bus terminal and take the bus to wherever i need to go but i'll come back to y'all later on y'all so i'm leaving the commissary i got my four bags full 
I'm just excited because I cannot wake up ever again as hungry as I did this morning. That cannot happen. <laughs> um, it's a little weird to get food here because, like, they deliver food on post, but it's all fast food, obviously. And then for me to go off post and eat, I got to either take the bus or take a cab and walk out there. And I want to have something readily available. So, yes, I'm about to go. I'm making tacos. So, we'll see how this goes without me having my full kitchen that I normally need. But it's a million taxis in the line and nobody in the line. So, that's a good thing. I mean, I'm about to go, be able to go ASAP. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Yeah, I don't know what the hell going on with my camera. It's really making me angry. I don't have a food if it's recording or not. Hey, y'all. So, back to my humble beginning. Skillet. Shouty. Um, I told y'all I was starving before, so I went to the store and got the stuff I need to make tacos. Again, my camera acting crazy, so I don't know if I'm recording, but I'm about to try to make my, uh, guacamole. So I got an avocado. I got one in the refrigerator already, so I'm going to make a whole store. So how I make my guac? Got two avocados. I got this recipe from my husband, or Peter, and my sister. Oh, that's bad. I hope my other one ain't bad, y'all. Or my whole taco fiesta gonna be a uh, fucking fail. This one looks good to go, though. Ooh, that one good to go. Alright, it's only me, so it's all good. I'm gonna squeeze my avocado into the bowl. Mm, yeah, it's pretty good. Normally, I would use fresh um, garlic cloves and I would chop it up myself and all that, but all my kitchen stuff ain't come yet. So, what I'm gonna do is just uh, what I did was so I ain't have to cut up too much stuff. I got garlic stirring paste and cilantro. So, obviously, I use garlic and cilantro. I use red onion and lime and I also use salt and pepper and cumin. What the hell am I cumin? So I'ma just um dice up some red onion and then I'm going to um, mix it all up. I'll come back and try to show y'all. Again, I don't know if I'm recording or not. Hey, y'all. So, back to my humble beginning. Skillet. Shouty. Um, I told y'all I was starving before, so I went to the store and got the stuff I need to make tacos. Again, my camera acting crazy, so I don't know if I'm recording, but I'm about to try to make my uh, guacamole. I got an avocado. I got one in the refrigerator already. So make a whole So how I make my guac? Got two avocados. I got this recipe from my husband, or Peter, and my sister. That's bad. I hope my other one ain't bad, y'all. Or my whole taco fiesta gonna be a fucking fail. This one looks good to go, though. Ooh, that one good to go. Alright, it's only me, so it's all good. I'm gonna squeeze my avocado into the bowl. 
Normally I would use fresh um, garlic cloves and I would chop it up myself and all that but all my kitchen stuff ain't come yet so what I'm going to do is just uh, what I did was so I ain't have to cut up too much stuff I got garlic stirring paste and cilantro so obviously I use garlic and cilantro I use red onion and lime and I also use salt and pepper and cumin. Where the hell is my So I'ma just um dice up some red onion and then I'ma um mix it all up i'll come back and try to show y'all again i don't know if i'm recording or not a dessert cafe look at yeah. look y'all it's like pre-made ice cream cone and i heard they bust and i need to get snacks for my video for y'all hey y'all so i'm big how about yeah so my new thing like my new favorite thing to wear is hoodies under my black denim jacket of course <laughs> but I like to wear hoodies and I like to scrunch scrunch the hood especially these furry ones they so warm but I like to scrunch the hood up like that that one looks so swaggy see makeup done got on it but I don't know I think that look cute what y'all think anyhow I'm back from went to this place called Old Lounge. It was like a hookah lounge. And I had a a shot. What was it called? G Spot, I think. I don't remember. But it was good. It kinda tasted like it had some type of melon melon. I don't know. It was really good. And then we had some hookah. I don't know if it's that the hookah over here is different or maybe that place is just different. But obviously with some cute little hookah thingies like it had the like a clear cube on the bottom where the water is and you can see the like water changing colors and bubbling when you pull but it didn't hit like I don't know if y'all smoke hookah maybe y'all know what I'm talking about but hookah be hitting hard like like I can't pull a lot of smoking because I'm not no smoker honey at all so normally it hit my throat and it like harsh like smoke and like it it didn't have like the regular like coal on the top i don't know if it was like electronic hookah if that's even a thing because that's what it felt like to me it felt like i was just pulling in cool water like it felt cool it didn't feel weird so i really liked that i'll have to like go to another hookah spot and see if that was like a korea thing or just like that hookah spot thing anyhow yeah i'm back from that about to get undressed take off my makeup take a shower get in the bed I'm gonna end the vlog here, but lay out. Today's vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, sis. What you doing? I see y'all tomorrow for Vlogmas Day, whatever it's gonna be.